powerful. Say all powerful. All compassionate. All wise. And a loving Heavenly Father. We serve an all powerful, an all compassionate, an all wise, and an all loving Heavenly Father. Our principle three was what was it? See it. We have to see it. Our words originate from inside our heart. From, uh, from out of the abundance of our heart, the mouth speak. Proverbs 18 and 21 tells us that words hold the power of life and death. The New Century Version tells us that what you say can mean life or death. We want our words to say life. Those who speak with care would be rewarded. I had to, to apply my faith in God that this degree would come. I had to say it, I had to believe it, and I had to confess the word over my education. Many days, many days, I had to do that so that I would be able to walk into my manifestation. Put your hands together for the Lord who has already work it out for you. So in the end, we're going to say it. We're going to sow it. And we're going to see it. So we're going to talk about a few points today. The first two is impatience and restlessness. Those two things can cause you to miss God's manifestation for you. When is it my turn, Lord? I've been here longer than them. Why didn't I get promoted? The prophet spoke to me and said X, Y, and Z, but it hasn't happened yet. I thought by now it was going to happen. A little story time self-application about that prophet. I can admit, I've gotten a couple of words and then maybe the next couple of days or a week, I'd be like, okay, Lord, it's your daughter Moni here. So uh, do you plan to share when date and time this good word is going to come to pass? You know, I've questioned him and Ask for a time frame, like my clock is ticking, I need some answers, I need some manifestations. So while you're waiting on God's manifestations, we could do some work. We can get things in order and make room for things to come. You want a new wardrobe? Clean out that closet. You thinking about getting a better paying job? Do you want a career change? Get some additional training. You desire more exposure for your business? Increase your marketing, network more. So here, God is saying, before you were created, before you were formed, he had a unique purpose, a specified vision, a designated outcome designed by God with you in mind. So instead of the restlessness chatter we consume ourselves with of, when is it my time, Lord, I'll cancel that out and I'll say, I'll trust you, Lord. I'll ignore, I've been here longer than them. Why didn't I get promoted? And I'll replace it with, I'll remain in a posture of excellence and I'll be a demonstration. Let's do away with the prophet said this to me. Why hasn't it happened yet? And I'll say, I'll just draw closer to you. Turn off that irrelevant thought of, I thought by now it would happen. And instead of that, just believe that I'm waiting for God's best in my due season. It does take a village, and it doesn't mean just children. A lot of us here have had to be reparented. A lot of us didn't have the foundation and the structure that would help us walk into our manifestation. If you don't have those nuggets, you don't know. Sometimes it's about the ignorance. We've been reparented here we're learning our heritage. We're setting goals and attaining them. As Bishop has stated, I may not have everything, but together we have it all. In Jesus' name, amen. If you say it, good or bad, it can happen. 
We hold that power. It's in the scripture. Okay. This is a teaching ministry. It's a show and prove type of an atmosphere. Proof is in the pudding, if I should say it that way. When I joined this church in 2003, we had around 25 or so members. We were having service in a strip mall. We prayed to the north, south, east, and the west to bring new members with like hearts and minds that would respect and share the vision of this house. We learned to direct and sow our seeds. So we did. Bishop taught us to be good stewards, Matthew 25 and 21, to take care of what you have no matter how small, and he would bless you with plenty. So our rental spot was just as immaculate as our current location. We had a clean, we had cleaning days, we had paint days, we had dust days, we had clean the baseboard days, but he taught us in all of this that we were being groomed to understand how to manage our homes on the same level. And we began to rebuild and learn about credit. Bishop, like he gave us all that we needed to prepare ourselves for what was coming, whether we believed it or not, he did. Thank you. 